So I wanted to talk to you about our parotidectomy, SMAS flap, and abdominal fat reconstruction. The way we used to do parotidectomies is we would make an incision that would extend preauricularly or in front of the ear, it would come down into the neck, and it would sort of traverse the neck. We would lift up that skin, we would take out the parotid tissue and the, and the parotid tumor, and then we would close everything up. The problem with that procedure was A, it left a pretty nasty scar along the neck, and B, it left an indentation. Over the years, we've developed a new technique to do this. What we do is we use a ridectomy or facelift incision where we come around the ear and then up behind the ear. What that does is it hides the incision line so nobody can see it. Another advance that we had is that we raise what we call a SMAS flap. Now this is the same flap that we use in facelifts. Once we raise that and elevate that flap, then the parotid is exposed. The, re the resection surgeon will come in and do the parotidectomy. They'll take the parotid tissue out, find the facial nerve, and take the tumor out also. At that point, the reconstructive surgeon will come back into the OR and evaluate the wound. What we do then is, if it's a large wound, we'll harvest some fat from your abdomen. Most people don't mind that, and nobody really notices the, a, the little bit of fat that's taken. Once we have that fat, we'll contour that fat to reconstruct the area so there's no defect. Then we close the SMAS layer and then the skin layer, just like we would in a facelift. The nice part about this procedure is after your parotid surgery, nobody will be any the wiser. You'll have the same contour on both sides of your face and there'll be no incision lines.